The Knicks and Bulls squared off in the 1991 playoffs. The Bulls won, but what evolved was a big-time sports rivalry. The 92 playoffs had the Knicks seeking revenge. The Bulls did not back down, and Michael Jordan had all the answers. In 93, Jordan shut the playoff door on the Knicks again. Then he left basketball with three titles and the Knicks in disbelief. In 94, the Knicks got their revenge, beating the Bulls without Michael. Last year, Jordan returned, and in his cameo appearance to New York, Jordan led the Bulls to victory, lighting up the Knicks for 55 points in what critics have called one of the greatest Broadway performances ever. Now, Patrick Ewing's Knicks and Michael Jordan's Bulls have advanced to the conference semifinals, where the stirring rivalry continues, with Michael Jordan taking center stage. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1996 NBA Playoffs. You are looking at the United Center in Chicago as we close in on game time. And here come the Bulls for game one of this best of seven Eastern Conference semifinal series. It's the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls renewing what has been a heated playoff rivalry in recent years. Hi everybody, I'm Marv Alvin along with Matt Gilkis. The major question going into today's game, the injury status of Michael Jordan's back. More of that, let's check in with Matt Hicks. All right, thank you, Marv. Indeed, a bevy of activity in the Bulls training room. I just got out of there and talked to trainer Chip Schaefer, and he says that Michael, if he had to put a number on it, is 80%. He had the same medication, same treatment last night and today. More importantly, I just talked to Michael Jordan, and he says even though he does feel looser, it is a mystery to him how he will respond over the game for 48 minutes. It's a catch-22. He wants to play and stay loose, but he does not want to burn himself out in this series. So it is a mystery to Michael Jordan and the rest of the country, Mark effective he'll be with a sprained back. Mark, All right, Dan, and with Michael Jordan bothered by that uh, back injury, although his numbers are still impressive in the uh, series against Miami, uh, the question is, can Scott elevate his game as he did against the Miami Heat. Well, Mark, you'll remember Scotty labored in the last third of the regular season due to some nagging injuries, but he was sharp in the three-game sweep over the Miami Heat. Those are the kind of numbers that we've come to expect from the best all-around player in the game. And with Michael Jordan's back somewhat in doubt, Scotty Pippen will have to do more of everything to help the Bulls get through this series. And the New York Knicks come off that surprising three-game sweep of the the Cleveland Cavaliers, they did it with amazing three-point shooting, and it was sparked by John Starks, who was on fire right throughout the series. And John's play was marked by consistency and control and some red-hot three-point shooting. That 14 for 22, three-point shooting, and that's a record-breaking performance, and the rest of the team on target as well. Now, it's hard to rely on that kind of shooting, but the Knicks will need to to steal a game or two from Chicago. All right, so coming up, game one of the best of seven between the Knicks and the Bulls. We'll be back with the introduction of the lineups in a moment.